This is a real quick video on how to make the worksheet and get started. So we've already signed up, so now it's time to log in or return to the app. So we go up here, log in, return to app, like that. And then we're going to get started because we don't have any worksheets yet. Click there. I'm going to put in skeleton trial. This is just a test to see what it can do. All right, and then here, don't go to create worksheet yet. You have to go to this background. This is kind of the actual worksheet that they're doing. So drag and drop a file here or choose one from the computer. You can use pictures. That's what a JPEG and a PNG are. A GIF, which is like a series of pictures or like a short video. PDF or DOCX files. We're going to do a separate, um, I'm going to do a separate video about the doc files. Um, so I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go to my downloads because I downloaded a picture. So not even a PDF, but just a picture of the human skeleton. And it has an answer key and everything. I'm going to hit open. And notice that there's a red border. Sometimes if you download a PDF and it has like maybe an answer key, you can make it so you only upload the one page that you want because you don't want the kids to have the answer key. So see if I click off it, it won't load anything. I click back on the red and it comes up. So then I go ahead and click create worksheet. Takes it a second and then here it is, it pops up. Now I'm gonna probably do a separate video about all the different question types, but the question type that most everybody's gonna use, especially for this, is the text box, the short answer. What's great about this is that it will auto grade for you. And you can do an auto grading because there is a answer key right here. Um, and if you look, there's an answer key here. And there's actually a thing that we can do. We can do a color block and we can erase that. So now that the students can't see the answers. Pretty clever. This, this, uh, this program has so many good features and it's free. So I'm going to go up here to the short answer. And since I actually know the answer to this one, I'll put it in. And then we put in the answer. We say, at a short answer, the correct answer is skull. Now, you could also put in um, multiple answers. Like, you could also put in, like, cranium. Um, so that if your students have, like, a different idea of what it is that's still correct, you can put in multiple correct answers. You can also change it for that the uppercase or lowercase must be correct. That's only necessary once in a while. So I would usually leave that on. And then you can determine how many points it is. And then you hit save changes. You'll notice that it still looks like it's staying there. And you may be thinking, well, aren't the kids going to be able to see it? They will not be able to see it. Um, if we preview it, you'll see that it's empty. And then the students, they'll know that they need to type in there. They would type in skull. And then they would check their answers. And it would show them that they got the correct answer. Skull, correct answers were skull or cranium. Boom. That's how, that's how it works. That's the short answer. In another video, I'm going to go through all of the other question types.